Hello and welcome to the second Python debugging tutorial series. In the last video we were talking about name error and in this uh, tutorial we're going to be talking about unbound local error. And they're kind of similar in uh, what causes this error and both of them basically have a variable reference before the assignment. So let's go ahead and run through this and explain what's going on. So the first thing is we need a variable. So we'll define x equals 5. And now what we're going to do is define a function. So we're going to say define test. And normally we would encase this and try and accept. However, uh, in the interest of showing you guys a nasty, ugly red output that comes from an error, I'm not going to do it. But normally I would say you should put your fun or your yeah your functions and try and accept. But anyway, moving right along. Um, maybe all we want to do is print x. And so when we do that, x is corresponding up here which actually makes x a global variable so when we run this it should actually print out 5 for us so we'll run test and there it is 5 but it only worked because we didn't attempt to modify x so now what if we did x plus equals 1 well I'm gonna spoil it for you guys and tell you this isn't gonna work <laughs> so you run it and sure enough, you get an error because x is being referenced before its assignment, which is kind of funky because it's like it knew what x was here, but now it doesn't. What the? But anyway, what's actually happening is you're trying to manipulate x, but it has no idea what x really is. So how do we get around this? Because maybe you really want x to be a global variable because maybe it's going to correspond to some other functions that might edit x as well. So what you can do is you just say global x and so that's kind of like defining a variable only um, you're just basically saying one of the variables is going to be the global variable x so now let's run that and bring this over and run test and sure enough we didn't get any error now let's print x and see if it did indeed work so we'll save that run it again Oops, there we go so sure enough, 5, 6. And then does it continue outside of the function? Well, yes, it does. And so oh, well, hmm, I'm trying to think of how we can do this. OK, well, what we'll do is, because otherwise it, you wouldn't see that it worked. So we'll call test first, and then it'll print x. So then you should see a you know, 5, 6, 6. So save that, run it. And sure enough, we did see 5, 6, 6. So that's an example of an unbound local error and um, how global variables work and what you can do to get around it. I, this was probably one of the most annoying errors I had to deal with when I was learning to program because it just made no sense to me because I was able to call it, but then as soon as I tried to modify it, it was like it's reference for assignment. I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? And it was just, it was definitely killer. But anyway, that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it helped some of you guys out. As always, thanks for watching.